is there an evil influence in the world? I mean, obviously there's like kind of a battle within everybody. We live in an imperfect world, so. I think that every human being is capable of wonderful things and terrible things, and it's just what you nurture. I don't know, I definitely don't think there's like an evil force that needs to be conquered or anything. Evil is, is, is the devil. I mean, he comes in different ways and, you know, we, we, have to, we have to have that right choice, you know, either choose wrong or right. I don't think so. I don't think, like, you know, is there a, a devil type thing. I think that everybody has the capacity for, for evil. There's a lot of things that tempt me. Like, I get tempted to want to have a more exciting life. I think the uh, easy route, yeah. shortcuts. Indulgences, things like that. Laziness, a lot. <laughs> I think it's kind of like wanting what you can't have. Probably, usually it's my own selfishness just wanting to put myself ahead of other people's needs. I also think that there's um, a spiritual darkness that, you know, God has a spiritual enemy who's at work in the world. If you spend any time around children, you would know that people are not naturally good. They're naturally selfish. It's kind of like if something good happens, it's always have to be something that's bad that's going to happen. I'd like to believe bad things happen for a reason. I think when we look at the world and we see all the horrible things happening, I think it would actually be kind of depressing to think that, you know, there's not a source from that, that that's actually just coming from people. I think there is an evil influence that, that causes people to do some of the horrific things that we see. 